Hey residents of Meeple Town, today we are looking at Panda Craves Danger. And here's the story. The chief of your embarrassment, which is a group of pandas. Did you know that? I No, that's All right. something I did not know. So the chief is tired of bamboo and he says, I want something different. So he goes to his head chef and says, give me something different. But you're panda, so you don't really know what food is. So what we're doing is we're tasked at checking out all these different foods to make sure that we can digest them without throwing up. Interesting. And, yeah, very uh, <laughs> mm. very good stuff. So we're gonna mm. be eating all different kinds of things, but let's get to the table and look at Panda Craves Danger. All right, yo, so here we have the setup for Panda Craves Danger. And just to, as a heads up, I uh, wanted to let you know that we are not doing a, a full review of this. We're just going to be doing a playthrough. Just some great fun, it's having some eating good times. crazy stuff, and me whipping Dean. Yep, that's exactly what's not going to happen. Exactly. All right, <laughs> so here we have the setup, and we have the uh, the danger deck. These are all the things that we're going to try to eat, and we'll explain how that works out in a little bit. Here's our little panda mats to show where we are in our common sense and our stamina. All this we're going to explain as we go. Yeah. John, why don't you take your first turn? Oh, you're letting me go, I'll first. Let you go first. I appreciate that. Okay, so these crowns here are going to denote the victory points that we're going to get, or the prestige points, if we're able to eat it and then digest it in one of our two stomachs so I can take this first card here or I can pay common sense to pick um, one of the other ones let's see here when you digest this you might just uh, ooh ooh that's not bad <laughs> oh that one says the same thing okay I'm going right here and then so I want this one so I have to put a common sense token there now I'm gonna grab this card I'm gonna look here and it's gonna tell me what dice I'm gonna be rolling plus anything that automatically hits me. Like for example, I'm automatically going to get a tummy ache. Mm. And it's gonna cover up one of my tum tums. So Tum tum. You like whenever yeah. I say that. I don't. It makes me yes, feel you do. uncomfortable. Do you wanna rub my tum tum? Nope. As we play this game? I don't. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be rolling two white, two blue, and a green. Boom! Alright! Not too bad. Okay, so First of all, the smiley happy face is amazing, means nothing happens to my tum tum. Mm. This means that I lose two common sense, so I lost two. I lost one whenever I put one on there, so that common sense goes away a little bit, and I take two stamina damage. If my stamina goes below zero, I throw up. So you don't die in this game, you just throw up a lot, or maybe not a lot. All right. Maybe not at all. So this is not digested yet, though. I'm going to put it down here. So on your turn, you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to try to eat something or you're going to rest. And then when during the rest phase, you can attempt to digest. That's right. All right. So we're trying to get the the seven cards out there. First one gets seven, then the other ones will uh, get one more turn. Um, also, we want to pay attention to these cards up here. These are our end game bonuses that we could potentially get. And uh, again, we'll kind of explain those as we go, but I, I do want to point one out because there's one that says you get, if you digest two or more cards with the uh, that little exclamation symbol on there, and I believe that one means that it's risky. Uh, if you get two or more of those, you're gonna get seven bonus points. And that's the only red one out there other than the one that's way down at the other end. So I'm actually gonna try to go for that one. John mentioned you put these common sense tokens on there a la Splendor if you've played that before. <laughs> All right, now this one's gonna be tricky. That's a lot. You're rolling lots of dice, brother. Am, he so. is going to try to eat a princess and her brave hero. That's right. That's pretty harsh. So, so I have to roll four white dice, uh, which are the stamina ones, one common sense one, and I'll automatically lose one of those, and then the two of the red, and then I'll automatically gain a wound anyway. So this actually could end very poorly for me. Uh, this, hopefully. This is a tricky one to roll. Yeah, right you went bat, one, one, two, losers. three, four, five, six. All right. So... I would go down one, two, three, four, five, you six. You uh, didn't work. And I would throw up. So, so what happens? Back. That's exactly right. That goes right back up there, and then I automatically get forced to take a rest action. Um, so it's not, it, it is a risk because I basically waste my turn. But uh, anyway, it's not the end of the world if you throw up by doing something like that. So, yeah. so I think I am going to go for this one now because it has two common sense. So the cool thing about this is when 
uh, I can use the common sense tokens, put them back on my board, but also I can use them to eliminate damage only when they're on this card. So I can't move them from here to eliminate damage, but right now, if I roll, for example, a heart or two hearts, I can use these and get rid of them, or I can put them on my board. So I'm gonna do this. One thing I don't like is I'm gonna take two wounds, but hopefully I can erase some of those with the common sense, or at least one of those, we'll see. So I'm only rolling two die. It's gonna be worth four points. All right, Ugh, double on that one. All right, so instead of taking that heart, I'm gonna discard that common sense. Instead of taking this heart, I will discard that common sense. You have to start from top to bottom, so I have to do the hearts first before I do the wounds. But it does mean that I'm taking three wounds, which is pretty awful, actually. It is really bad. Because, but, but I do get this. <laughs> what happens, what these do, is at the end, whenever I, not the end, when I take a rest turn, I cannot heal my stamina past this. So my stamina is gonna start on three next rest turn, which is pretty terrible. That's bad, however. It's good for you. I mean, you get two cards and I have zero yet because I took too much of a risk. Um, and I would like to get those red cards and I really wanna go for that one again, but I don't wanna take that chance of missing out again. So what I'm gonna do is just go for this one, which is the family of screaming porcupines. Okay. So I'll take this and I'm gonna roll three of the stamina, two of the common sense. It looks so dark. Two of eerie. the wound, I know, that's really, <laughs> really creepy card there. All right, so roll these. A creepy card for a creepy guy. I did get a panda, so that's helpful. Um, and I did, Let's see, lose one, two, three stamina. I lose three of my common sense tokens. Now there is a common sense token on here um, that I can use to negate one of these stamina tokens, which I will do that. So I'll discard that off there. there. You go. All right, and then I do lose three common sense and I'm gonna take two wounds. Mm. Uh, so let me grab these two wound markers right here. So I'm in bad shape like John is, but at least I did get to keep a card this time and I didn't have to to lose that. So I'll put this over here and hopefully I'll be able to digest that soon. Slide these cards down. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest option this turn, though it's not gonna help me with stamina. Uh, so on my rest turn, I am gonna remove these wounds, but I can't move my stamina past the wounds. So those are, that hurts me there. I am going to replace my common sense. And then I'm gonna, to, attempt or digest something based on the stomachs. So uh, I have one stomach so I can uh, digest one card. I'm gonna digest this. However, the bottom does say when you digest this, you may digest another card with nine or fewer. So I guess even though I have one stomach, I could digest this because of that. Of course, this one allows me to do the same. Here's the thing, if I keep this card and I die, I throw up and lose it. So I'm gonna take the less risky move at this point mm. and go ahead and just digest that because I can see with three stamina, there's a good chance I get that heal too that I am could throw up. So there you go. All right, and so what I would like to do is be able to take the rest to action and digest this card. But the thing is about screaming porcupines, it says when I digest this, I may exchange a card in my mm. hand with the first card of the buffet. I'd really like to be able to do that. I don't want to waste an action. So I'm going to take another risk. I'm going to drop this here on uh, a princess and her brave hero. And then I'm going to try to get the fishing lure. Oh, that's what I was wanting. The problem is... That I, sounds super painful. I don't have that's, a lot of... <laughs> yeah, that like hurts my throat thinking about trying to digest fishing lures. I know it. I know. Yeah. All right, so hopefully this doesn't end poorly for me. We'll see how it goes. All right. Think you um, survived? Maybe. We'll see. So I did take three stamina damage. One, two, three, which gets me Woo! down to one. I'm also only going to lose one of my common sense tokens. You lose uh, none of your common sense. I lose one here. Oh, because of there. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I do take... This is really bad. I do take two wounds, which is going to be really difficult. It's, it's not going to be a very uh, fruitful rest action for me. Um, however, I do still have two stomachs, oh, which is helpful. Um, so I'm going to take this and just put it right here and then hopefully I'll be able to rest and digest some stuff here in just a little bit. So I'm in really bad shape because I've only got three and I could take a big risk, but most of these I'm going to die. I'm going to roll all these. I'm going to throw up, not die. No doubt about it. I don't really want a bunch of wounds. So I'm going to go all the way over to this rusty tin can, which appears apparently a rusty tin can is one of the safest things <laughs> I can do. Um, I guess I could eat an assortment of rocks, but I'll gain 
a Band-Aid. No, I'm just gonna go for this, which means I just roll these two die. I don't automatically get hit with anything. I'm going to roll them. I lose one stamina and I take one wound and that's the end of my turn. All right, so this is my turn and now I will uh, for sure take my rest action because I don't have a lot going on. So what I'm gonna do is slide my stamina token all the way up to two. <laughs> that's as far as I can go. Oh man. I do get rid of my wound tokens. I'll take all of these. I'm sorry, first I should have digested. Uh, I should have waited to do this after, but I'll go ahead and finish this up. So normally what you would do is digest first. So what I'll do is digest this card, which is the family of screaming porcupines. And mm. it says when I digest this- I wonder I what that sounds like. What is probably a, awful. What does a screaming porcupine sound I don't like? Know. This and the lures, the fishing lures are not what I want to eat. Um, but I may exchange a card in my hand with the first card Jeez. of the buffet. Smart so move. that is what I will do. Daddy's getting Swap whipped right these. now. Yes. Um, and no, I don't digest that one right away. I'll have to digest that soon, but that'll help me get this, um, the, what is it? Glutton for punishment bonus card there at the end go. of the game. All right, so I'll be quick. I'm just going to rest. So I go there, there. I do digest a rusty tin can. So your turn again. All right, now what I would like to do uh, is to be able to, to try to eat something again, but I need to take the safe action, I think, and go ahead and also uh, rest. So I will go ahead and digest that card. And I have to use two stomachs to do that one, which I do have available. Uh, I will move my stamina token up. I'm already full of my common sense, so that's my turn. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk, I think. Um, let's see, yeah, I think I'm gonna take a bit of a risk. I think this game is all about taking the risk. It is. Hey, we're pandas and we're, we're trying to eat everything, so let's just go for it. I'm going to try to attempt to eat a Pilates machine. Oh, okay. All right, all right. which is not great because I'm going to lose one already and I have to roll four of these. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to digest this. Yikes. This is not happening. You just got to go for well, it. This is yeah. just for fun. <laughs> Alrighty, so look at all the dice I'm rolling. Wow. That is and I'm a lot. already gonna lose one. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> oh, any chance? You one, two, three, in. four, five, six. I can save one. Threw up. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't as big of a risk because I didn't have anything in my hand. When you put it in your stomach, you get to keep it. You never um, lose it. Yeah. I, I really like how. How you automatically rest, that right? when you yeah you automatically rest. So I really like how when you do when you do throw up, it isn't the end of the world. Like you, you're not uh, you're you're basically kind of losing a turn, but it's not uh, bad because you get to rest as a result. It's not good whenever you have a good card in your hand though that you lose. That's probably right. All right, so I mentioned earlier that I would really like to be able to uh, get two. You're gonna try two of those risky to go cards. for Lothox the Barbarian. Yes, I am. So I'm gonna go here. And this actually isn't an awful risk because I just have to roll three of the white ones and two of the red ones. And then I'm automatically going to um, take one stamina damage and two wounds. Oh, two pandas? Uh, two pandas. That's wow. uh, exactly how I planned it, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now I can use these tokens, which I think I will. Uh, I'll get rid of two of those to um, negate those two, but I'm still going to take one, two stamina damage. And then I will also take one, two, three. Wounds. So you just have to slide your stamina down another that's one. That's exactly right. But that's so still awesome, man. It's not not very bad, especially these red ones are difficult, and that one's worth 10 points if I do digest yeah, that. Yeah, you're rocking on that. Now, we did mention if you do throw up, um, it's not that bad. It can be really bad if you have a lot of cards in your hand because you lose the cards in your hand if you do throw up all of them. So that, that can be a risk if you have more cards in your hand. That is for sure. I really wanted the Pilates machine, by the way, because you're getting bonuses as you digest food, and this gives you an extra heart and yeah, another that's common nice. sense. That's very nice. But it's tough for me with where I'm at with no common sense on there. Um, you know, I think I'm just go for this fishing lure because yeah. I have a ton of common sense that'll help me. Okay. All right, so that's it. These three dice. Those two <laughs> I will negate with common sense. Then I... Well, you can negate I those. can negate those, so I will. I mean, I'm just going to lose You're the common lose sense. Anyway. And then I would do that anyways, which I lose the common sense. So one thing I do get is one wound. But that's not bad not for bad a card with five points. So there you that's go. That's not bad at all. All right, now my stamina is all the way down to three. I don't want to take any risk of losing the Lothox, the Barbarian. And so I will just go ahead and digest this. I'll take my rest action. Uh, digest that one. 
and, and you have to roll a card to digest. Oh, that's right. Sorry about that. I almost forgot. Damage. Roll a white die, and I take that, which moves that down. Um, however, I will go ahead and uh, I'll continue the rest action immediately, so I do refill that back up. Lose these wound tokens, fill up my... I am getting, oh, thumped in this game right now. <laughs> it's not even close. It's I not know. even. You got four cards. Oh, it's not even there. close, Broham. I'm, I'm getting just trying to be nice. whipped right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this librarian at the moment, and I'm going to try to eat a librarian. That kind of sounds... <laughs> sad. I don't know. I was going to say pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> or pleasant, yeah. Well, they, you know, um, a librarian doesn't seem too aggressive in general, so... Okay, any librarians out there, I apologize for that statement. It would not be pleasant to eat a librarian. Okay, so I'm going to roll seven. Boom! Woo! There's some hearts flying around out there. All right, so I'm gonna take those three and negate those by taking those off, which means I lose <clears throat> one, two, three hearts. I also lose two common sense. So not the end of the world. All right, now I'm kind of looking looking at the cards up there, uh, those bonus cards, and I'm noticing that the picky eater says if you digest five or fewer categories, which are these little circle symbols yeah. on there, you get eight points. Now, if you digest one or more of these, the animal, plant, or the uh, metal symbols, then you get seven points. Now, it's difficult to do both of those, I think. And so I'm kind yep. of thinking right now I have one, two, three, four different symbols. So I'm going to try to stick to those symbols mm. if I can at all help it. Now, I'm kind of looking out there and seeing what symbol could I do? Now I can go for the mascot and the Pilates machine, which would really help me. But the problem is my stamina is only at three. And so this seems like a complete waste of an action, but I am just going to take a rest action just to move my stamina up. Common sense is already full. I don't have anything to digest. So that's actually going to be my whole turn. All right. So mine is going to be the same thing. So I can go ahead and digest those. So two quick turns in a row. All right. Now the Pilates machine does look very tempting for for the reasons that John said earlier, but it is quite the risk, and I'm not I don't know if I'm willing to take that right now. So I'm actually just gonna go I'll drop one on the Pilates machine, on the assorted rocks, and then I will go for this mascot because I already have that symbol, and I'm okay. Get your next your stomach, maybe. Uh, potentially, yeah. But this is a this is not an easy one either. So I'm gonna roll three of the white, one of the common sense, and I'm automatically gonna take wounds. So let's just roll these. And unfortunately, there's no uh, common sense tokens on there. So this could be really bad. Um, and it is, so I will lose one, two, three, one, two, three stamina, uh, and then take another one, which is a fourth. Now for common sense, that's going to be two that are added on there. And then I rolled two. So I'm going to lose four total. I only have three. So you automatically take it out of your stamina. So I'm all the way down to one, wow. but I barely made it. So I will just take a wound token. And I do get to get this one, but it just means that I'm gonna have to rest next time. That's it. Okay, there's some cars that I want down here, but I'm just not liking my chances on some of them. It is about pushing your luck, but then there's pushing your luck, and then there's just stupid. And I think I'm not, I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of risk and not be completely dumb. Um, and I'm gonna go for this. We're getting close, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you have three. Okay, so mm -hmm. if I eat two more and digest, then the game's over. And I'm looking at these, and I got nothing accomplished up here. So let's go ahead and risk it on this one. So I'm going to roll four, five, six. This is going to be tough to do here. Yeah, that's that's a difficult I don't. One. I really don't think I'm going to... Oops, what am I grabbing that for? I need to grab this. Man, I need more <laughs> on that card. The, oh, man. It's funny because, you know, the... the the decisions of this game aren't very difficult, but it, it you know... That's not going to work. The Pilates machine is really difficult it unless is. it I'm has a lot of it. common sense tokens built up. I'm not doing it because I just said there's sometimes <laughs> pushing your luck and then there's just plain stupid. That's pretty much not You are not work. a stupid panda. No, I am not. Man, this really, really stinks. Um, and also, I think about things like if I go further down, then that's going to give Dean a chance to get something like that because there's going to be more uh, common sense tokens on there. So I am going to, yikes, okay. I am gonna go, that's interesting, let's do that. So I'm gonna go here, grab this one, and I'm gonna roll this, and I know I'm gonna take a wound, which I don't like, but I get one stamina there, and I'm gonna take a wound, and then I get another, I automatically hit a stamina. Why I went ahead and, actually, you know what? I'll 
take one of those off so that I can be up here. And then I'll place this one back here. The thing about this card is the blue ones are interesting because they don't score a lot of points, but you score the points from your hand. Mm -hmm. So I would I was kind of worried that I'd get seven and trigger the end of the game, but I could do a collection of some of these blue ones, and then I'm going to score points at the end of the game for those. Yeah, that's that so could be really good. that might be a good idea. Especially because I am not close to being able to... Um, I think it's the right move for me yet. right now. Yeah. Because you're whipping me so bad. That's right. All right, so, which I don't think is true, but I, I do have to take a rest action because I don't want to lose this card. And I only have one stamina left, so I will go ahead and digest this. It gives me an extra stomach, which can be really, really helpful. Um, in this game, it hasn't really made much of a difference because we haven't had <laughs> to really roll many or any green dice, which are the ones that will... Uh, make you a little bit sicker to your stomach. So I'll digest that, move my stamina token up, go ahead and take my five common sense tokens, and that'll be the rest of my turn. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go here and just go for this shiny tinsel. Eating some tinsel, baby. That's, that's much better than a Pilates machine, I think. Not just for Christmas decorations, <laughs> according to what movie. I got nothing. Really? Yep. The Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. Remember when the elves used the tinsel to get into I got the you. gel? I got you now. That's a good movie. All right. So, shiny tinsel. Oh, look at that. Look how happy that is. That's pretty nice. But I'm losing all my common sense here. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. So, that would actually be five. So, when I need to lose common sense, like I need to lose five, then I actually, it goes to a stamina. So, I... Now lose all my common sense and a stamina. Just try and eat a little tinsel. Man, I, I hate that, that for you, John. Thanks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Now, of course, the risk with these is if I throw up, then I lose them all. That's right. Now, I'm I'm at a little bit of a uh, a loss here of what to do because I really would like to go to for the Pilates machine. Remember, I said earlier I don't want to get more than five symbols. Right now, I'm at four, and so if I take this one, that would be helpful. I I don't want to go for this because that. Well, that would be one more, but it's really difficult to do this. And so some of these are kind of difficult. Now, I think the best thing for me to do, and it's not going to give me many points, would either be go for the bowl of spiders, which is not many points, or try to risk it with a Pilates machine. Risk it or biscuit, bro. Risk it. Risk it or biscuit. I don't think that's That's something saying. that, that's what everyone <laughs> says. What? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says risk it or biscuit. You never heard that before? I don't think so. It's because you're from Michigan and not Tennessee. I think Michael Scott says sitting on your biscuit, never having to risk it. Actually, that's no, Daryl. That Daryl says that. See? All right, so I am going to go for this one. It's just two Dang points. It. Um, I kind of wanted that one. Which is a bit of a stinker, uh, and it will take one of my... Oh, no. That's not awful. All right, know. so I lose a common sense token and a stamina, and then I will get a token to make my belly sick. So I will take that. Put it there, and I still do have two more stomachs. But. Sorry, I'm thinking here, y'all. Trying to make a decision on what to do. I could end the game right now, and just Dean wins. Uh, and then make our video a little I, bit shorter. I no, it I is, because I don't have any of those. Oh, okay. So um, I would destroy you then. Yeah, no, I'm just would. kidding. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not... I kind of kind of want to end the video <laughs> just so it's not super long, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give Dean that joy. I'm actually going to just rest this time because I need to replenish some of these, but I don't have to try to digest it, do I? <laughs> you don't have to digest, do you? I believe... Let me... Actually, a rules check. Uh-oh, this probably is not good for... Uh, uh, you may Maybe digest. Um, you may digest your cards. That's you don't what have I thought. To, so. so I can just hold them in my gullet. That's right. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Now I'm a. I'm at a little bit of a loss. <laughs> what to do? I really like to go for this one, but I, it's a it's a risk because I would lose this. I don't have any common sense tokens. Uh, if I do roll that, I would have to lose even more stamina. So I actually will rest and I will. Uh, I will digest this card. Slide that up. I'm going to lose this six stomach token, and it's your turn. I'm oh, going for the Pilates like machine, bro. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I should have potentially taken that. I risk. mean, it's a little bit of a risk though, because I, I don't want. This is five points. I'm going to lose if I don't get this. This is still a risk for me, man. I got that on there though. I got a bunch of those common senses, so I should be okay. I think. Oh, a double. But I did get a smiley face. Okay, so this, those four will be eliminated by these four. Which means, number one, I automatically get one here to make sure I do that correctly. And then I get 
lose two more for that. Then I lose this, common sense, and I take two wounds. So, okay. There we go. Your turn. All right, now um, we'll slide these oh. over. That was a that was a crushing blow for me for you to be able to get that one. I, I think. that's that's sounds highly exaggerated. Hey, this is I just put that <laughs> over here. There's no way that's there because there would be something there, right? Yep. I'm not sure how that got on there. Uh, that's probably me. All right. So I'm not quite sure what I need to do. I know I would like to just get some points um, in any way that I can, but again, I don't want to get symbols that I don't need. Here's a nine pointer here, but wow, that's a risk. And it wouldn't hurt me against the everything that I need. So I will, oh goodness, the decisions in such a simple game. All right, so I will, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go, f I'm gonna go for it. Go for it, Everett. Okay, man. What's that from? Go for it what? Go for it, Everett. I don't know. I don't either. Oh, brother, we're out though. Maybe oh, is that, is that what it's from? I, I don't know if I. I may have just made that up. I think, right, you, so, I think you made it up. <laughs> this is gonna end poorly, I believe, because there's only one Hopefully. token on there. But it wouldn't be the end of the world because I'll have to rest anyway. Hey, you gotta roll two reds too. Oh, sorry about that. I oh, really am. You got two faces. I'm am, am very sorry oh. about that. But then I got that. He anyway, gone. So three, four, five, six, and I only have five here, and there's only one on here, Perfect. so I will for sure lose that. But it's not the end of the world. I just don't get to get that card. That's correct. I am just going to rest this time and digest this Pilates machine. You know, I didn't heal. I need to pay attention to what I got here, like heal a common sense every time I eat something, which I could have done last round, but it doesn't really affect me too much. Okay. Dang it, I gotta go up to four only though. Ugh. All right, let's see. I need to, John is going to end the game soon, I'm assuming. Could have ended it that time, I guess, and I think you probably would have won, but let's, mm -hmm. uh, I, so. I need to be able to get something, some points anyway, so I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm just going to go for the, I'm going to go for the left femur, <laughs> I think. Uh, actually, no, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go on, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go all the way over here. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Ah, that's tough. I will go there. Oh, okay. Should I go there? Should I risk it? Go for the fat cactus, baby. I only have five, so that's probably. I just not think the a Yule log thing. all aglow sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what the hey? I'm gonna risk it. This is gonna lose the game for a me. Pack I feel of rabbit confident. squirrels. Uh, I have to roll five, and again, I only have five, and there's nothing on there. I'm not doing that. Let's, yeah, that ain't going. That's work. silly. All right, so I'm gonna throw that common sense token on here, and I'll just go for. A Yule Log all aglow. <laughs> Roll two of these. That seems like it'd be a little more dangerous than a six-pointer, huh? That's probably Eating a right. fiery log. <laughs> all right, so I lose two stamina, and then I will get three wound tokens, which is really bad for me to have at this late in the game, because I'll have to take two rest actions to really move up on all of my uh, stamina, but that, that's okay. I rest just to heal that. Done. You're not going to do anything? No. All right, you're just going to keep delaying the game until I get more and more points, eh? I ha well, you have. I don't have any of those. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna lose. All right, I will also rest and I'll take this. Unless people are screaming at the video saying, "No, you would have won, John. You would have won." I think you would have. That's fine. I do get rid of those. I do get these five. Now, the, my problem is now I do have five symbols, and so this one is nice, but I can't get it because I won't be able to get those extra bonus points. All right, that's what I'm going for. All right. And the reason I've been wanting I've been wanting this trying to build up because if I get that panda symbol, then I can digest that. And I actually might have a chance to win. Maybe. I don't know, maybe not. I guess I should maybe do the points a little better in my head for a roll here. But I do have an extra heart down here, which is quite nice. Come on. Oh yes! Two pandas. Ooh, but two of those. So I've got two of these, which will get rid of two of those. And then I still have to take one heart and then get three more heart. One, two, three damage. I also will lose a common sense from here and I will take a wound. But I just ate a fish tank full of piranhas, baby. <laughs> all right, I guess that's worth it. So we'll slide all these down. We actually, I think we forgot to put one in last time. There should be six cards There should out be there. six, whoops. Um, but it won't make a difference for me. I'm actually just gonna take my turn to 
uh, to rest, and oh. all I get to do on this one is just move my stamina up, and I'm preparing for that last round. I, a vat of baked beans. That doesn't seem like it's that awful. I've, do you see how many baked beans are there? It's a lot, but I'm gonna rest yeah. to score my seventh card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, to digest my seventh card, which means that triggers the end of the game. Dean has one more turn. All right, so this is my last turn, and so what I would like to do is be able to go for a lot of points, but I won't be able to digest it. So I'm gonna go for one that I will be able to get the points if I get it, if I don't digest it. This could be a, a big turn for me. It could be huge. Do we need to tell the people of Mabel Town what really has happened, Dean? No, we don't need to tell them what happened. Stop, Dean. <laughs> we can tell them in the final thoughts. All, All right. right, so I'm gonna lose three. One, two, three, stand. Oh my goodness. And, oh, no, 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 no. Here's the problem, though. If I go for this one, oh, no, no, the no, symbol, you can I'll score still get from it. Your yep, hand. I'll still get it. So I do lose three, I do take a wound. All right, I'm gonna get these. You could have lost, only lost Oh, that's one. right. I would just lose. Uh, I would only lose one. So I'm gonna take those, put those there. I don't have to digest this one. I'm gonna get three points, which I already know is gonna give me I the already win. know that he gets to win. <laughs> we, had, right. we had a few uh, technical difficulties <laughs> and over the process, we actually ended the game with me winning by a tiebreaker. That's right. And then we actually lost it. So Dean wanted to show everybody how good he is <laughs> by doing it differently this time and actually winning the game. So, yeah, so technically, I'm going to give John the win on this one, uh, even though I went ahead and made myself win with taking this card. Uh, All right, so we said at the beginning of the video that we're not gonna do a full review of this game, and so we're not. We really just wanted to show you how this game plays out. I do wanna point out a few things in this game. One would be uh, the components on this game because this is a small box game, but the components are fantastic. They really are. I, I love the, you know, the screen printed on these little tokens and, and uh, you know, the, the card stock and all of that. The, the art is silly. <laughs> But that's exactly what you get in this that's game it. because yeah. this is what was what's one word you would use to describe this game, John? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Or silly. Silly. Yeah. yeah. It's just it is just silly fun. This yeah. is a this is a cool little game. If if you saw the playthrough, um, might be something that interests you. Definitely definitely check this one out. Yeah, for sure. So my quick a couple of quick thoughts are this is not my ultimate style of game. If you sure. follow our channel, I'm a kind of midweight Euro guy, that are the generally speaking. But if you, as Dean said, want to just have some silly fun, or if I want a game that like I want to play with my family, sure. I actually think my nine and 11 year olds would really enjoy this game. And I, I do like how you're just eating ridiculous things like vat of baked beans or whatever. So this is definitely not a personal taste that I just love or um, won't, you know, can't wait to get to the table, but there's definitely a place for this. And you guys might absolutely love this game. Sure. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of like uh, exploding kittens or something, except for there's more strategy, oh, which I like I really, yeah. I much prefer this over exploding kittens because it's got uh, a lot more strategy. A lot, to of, it, a lot so. of decisions in your, in your wrist that you're taking in this game. Yeah. So anyway, uh, you know, the, the game for, speaks for itself. Is this something you're interested in? Uh, check it out, but tell people how they can get in touch with this, John. Yep. We're on YouTube, as you can tell, because you're watching on YouTube. We're at Meeple Town Games for Instagram, for uh, Twitter, and for Facebook. Also, I mentioned YouTube. It would be a great help for us if you would subscribe to our channel. We're also on Board Game Geek Guild 3407. Thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meeple Town Games. And connect with us on the Meeple Town Guild, guild number 3407, at boardgamegeek.com. And also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meeple Town.